my friends are really rich in Singapore because I lived there for 20 years. Wow, well, that's good. And I'm the one who was always running out of money, broke, homeless. I don't have a penny to rub together, but I've got the largest empire of houses, land, farming, contentment for like next to nothing. So where are we walking to now? To the rice field, to the big one. I see the cultivating of rice as the highest thing you can ever do. For me, it's like pure uh, enlightenment. So how much work do you think you've put into that rice field over the last two months? Well, every day, four hours minimum. I like to get up at six and be in there by around 6.30. It's just cooler and the insects not so bad. Keep my eye out for the snake because there's, there's one that kind of lives around here. <laughs> this is my rice field that I've been slaving in for two months, basically bringing it back to life from 10 years of it was never used, not farmed on. It's taken up my life actually, the season preparing, doing the seeding bed and doing that field. My god, that the work. I enjoy it, obviously, it's just kind of meditative. I dug all the water channels with this, so it's like a hundred meters of hard work. And this is kua, ho. Uh, they come in different angles, but this is good for when I scoop out the rice seedling. And then I spent two weeks planting by hand every rice plant. Well, my experience, planting with all this mud around it, like a big, big fat mound, and then it'll sit and fall over. Everything I do is not for sale, it's, it's just, I want self-sufficiency. So instead of making money, do something that will feed you so you don't need to make the money. I, I call it rice patrol, I come and check in the morning, see how the water is, because the level of the water is basically what's running in the channel above you. So if there's no rain, there's less water. So I have to adjust everything to maintain this. In the city, for instance, they'll go to a gym and, you know, pump weights. For me, that's just like, it, it's pointless, almost. And in the process, you get a body like the, the guy in the gym. Well, healthier, because you're not breathing in air conditioning. Yeah, the good thing about Japan is everyone's so old and there's so many fields and they're happy to give you a field to farm. So we've been farming this field for four years. They knock on your door and they go, can you bring your washing in and close all your windows? We're doing the insecticide. This white powder are blown out of these tubes and they're in like space suits. So I thought, this can't be right. They've grown rice for 2000 years and they never used one chemical. So I thought I'll grow rice and it's the most beautifully tasting rice you ever ate. And why do you grow black rice? I always wanted to do the real Japanese rice, plus it's really good for you, uh, which I need at my age. <laughs> and the good thing with black rice is you add just a small percentage to the white rice for dinner, so you don't need to grow as much. So this small plot has more than enough for a year's supply of black rice. A lot of farmers are obsessed with weeds. They feel they have to remove all of them, but you just don't. My view is there's a reason for weeds, otherwise they wouldn't exist. So, I like them. Water's really important for rice, and what's good about my rice field is the water's straight off the mountain, really pure. So, as usual, I don't really like plastic, so it's all funneled in, in bamboo. Why do you use bamboo? Just because it's natural and free. <laughs> well, like anything, uh, free. Free house, almost. <laughs> Free food. And just bamboo everywhere in this area. So I sent my friend in England a picture of my field. And, and his response, only response was, God, that looks like a lot of hard work for a bowl of empty carbohydrates. So I slowly explained the significance of rice that I think people overseas, they, they don't know. Uh, I mean, it's everything. They use it as an offering in temples. You know, of course, you live on it. It's sustenance. It's staple food. You make things from it. The earth walls of my farmhouse 
you use the, the rice straw to strengthen the earth because it has an enzyme in it. So when you wet it, mix it with earth, it becomes strong.